develop your characters as a mini RPG uh, uh, game. And uh, we've been nominated now for uh, the Indie Games uh, Game of the Year Award. So, uh, and we're running short on time, so I'm just going to let Ujwal uh, talk to Pratik quickly about how this game was made, etc. in uh, Kukusuri, yeah. yeah, thanks so much. So, uh, so, for your information, so, so I talked about different engines, right? So, it's an open source one which comes first. So, Kukusuri is the uh, framework which I've chosen. Uh, so, uh, yeah. maybe I'll talk to Pratik quickly and uh, uh, also get some information. So, uh, which platform was targeted first to build this game? Uh, we built it for PC only using Win32. Then uh, we went for iOS as well as like Okay, great. So, the, the first thing which you chose was, of course, the obvious uh, choice was yes. iOS platform because yes. that's where the more number of people were, right? Yes. And then Blackberry as well. Yes. And then uh, you started building for Windows Phone based yes. on Windows. Uh, Actually, we were, we were already having the project structure ready in the initial design. So, switching to Win, uh, Win, uh, Windows 8 mobile from Win32 was not a big deal. If, uh, I'd say it uh, time wise, then just a couple of hours. So, so it's it just so points you know you should take care of. Consider is it took only a couple of hours, you know. And, and uh, let me also mention that the studio is pretty new. Yeah. And you know, uh, of course, they are very experienced, but then the studio is very new. And converting the code from uh, you know iOS platform to library platform to uh, Windows Phone platform was just a matter of a couple of hours. That's the part which you get. Uh, yeah, the, main, the main time we took uh, is to uh, handle the lips, which uh, was supported uh, direct text lips. Sure. Windows 8 mobile. So our code supports uh, OpenGL for rendering person. So the only issue we faced is uh, rendering these characters. Sure. So for other platform, we were using OpenGL standards. Right. So we got a help from a Windows developer, uh, which are working for sure. single project over uh, Google Project. So they helped us pretty well. And uh, we asked them uh, regarding this issue, and they just provided us the pre compiled uh, shaders. So we just put it and that's all. Awesome. So, so if you choose the platform, you know, and if you are going to build with us, that's the kind of support you can expect. You know, we have a live example over here. Uh, of course, uh, from development perspective, also you need to have a uh, uh, experienced developers, but looking at support from development side, you are going to be there. Yeah, that's so, uh, you know, and uh, in terms of uh, experience, or uh, in terms of Windows Phone experience. Yeah, in Windows Phone, uh, I, would, I would point out the time, time thing. Yeah, in fact, let me let me project the yeah. game while we are talking about it. Uh, uh, if you wanted to project the game and show you the game yeah. itself, uh, in fact, so yeah. so we have this, uh, this is the game here, Song of Swords. In fact, you want to uh, also quickly do a quick play and like one minute and uh, so you can yeah so this is a game flight a game in fact and right, so like i said it's an rpg game so i'm not going to uh, spend a lot of time i'm just going to go into the, the action phase and show you how it plays so it's a simple game the controls are really simple uh, these are your characters at this point of time obviously as you go on in the game you will get and unlock uh, more characters, you drag and drop to command the characters in. Each character has a particular way of um, particular stats like this. The queen there is a tank character, for those of you who uh, are into RPG. Right, so I'm just going to go back and just show you a little bit about... Uh... So there's a storyline obviously, in, uh, we have uh, an interactive comic like this tells you a story. So you can go uh, and see us at our booth for uh, a playthrough yourself, right? Yeah. Thanks, thanks Avi. So, uh, you know, quickly wanted to uh, mention about some of the key benefits that you get on top of building the platform. And every game can sign on the respective platforms. We, we definitely appreciate and you know, uh, mention that. But in Windows platform, you know, especially if you look at the couple of things which is very uh, you know, interesting, for example, tiles. You know, uh, when uh, we talk to Pratik and uh, you know, Anuj, we get to know, like, for example, to get add stickiness to the user, right? You have different sizes of tile, you know, different ideas can be covered, like, for example, when you play the game, so, of course, you can pass on to the tile. So, even when I'm not playing the game, I'll be bound to think about the game, i like to come back to, to play the game. There's one quick uh, other stuff which i like to show. For example, when you lock the screen, right? Uh, and uh, when you open the screen, I'm not, the screen is locked as well. 
the image which is coming on the screen can also be posted across from the game itself. Which is another cool feature, I think. Yeah. Um, I think so which I, I, I'm sure you all will agree with the right of building apps and games on this platform. Thanks, both of you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I mean, uh, from a technical point of view, I must add this, right? I know we were late, but uh, but Microsoft guys, we've been working with them over the last three, uh, three and a half months, and I must say, Ujwal here and Harish and uh, the Microsoft India team has been really great, right? Also, there is a Spark program which helps you out with the, the software and a lot more, which I'm sure Ujwal will touch upon. Sure. Yeah. Thanks a thank, thanks a lot. You know, uh, without taking much time, but we have less time, so you know, I, I would also like to invite uh, my other partner, Lexus Multimedia. And uh, if you want to just talk about uh, one of the game, uh, you know, which has again been selected here, which is uh, Race with World has been also selected in a uh, different category uh, altogether. Uh, you know, and uh, if you wanted to just talk about uh, maybe uh, you know the game which I want to show here, you know, let's, let's have a look to that. So this is a very nice game for World Cricket Champion. Also wanted to do this uh, key note, but because of the lack of time, we are not able to finish that. This game. And then multiple other uh, games uh, from cricket. Okay, can you mention about cricket, Mohan? Uh, what other the games which you have? Other than World Cricket Championship, uh, we have uh, uh, Battle of Chebaka, which is an official game of uh, Chennai Super Kings. And then uh, 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 street cricket, drag racing, uh, race with words. It's one of the game uh, which got finalized uh, uh, for game of the year, uh, NASCOM event. So, um, so moreover, we have uh, plenty of uh, games, nearly uh, 20 to 25 games we have uh, in the most for eight platform. Awesome, awesome. So let me uh, show you this game quickly. I mean, can I have audio, please? Audio also. So, you know, uh, so this game, uh, you know, is built using another tool, which is commercial tool, community. Of course, uh, we have a separate session on the and this is a unique booth as well. So if you want to know more about uh, Unity on Microsoft platform, you will invite it to the welcome to come to our booth as well. Uh, so, so this is a very neat game, very neat it's like to have you know, uh, a play, either do a batting or a bowling. If you do a, doing a batting side, you can select to look at the field, and then the speed of the ball, and then you can play, choose to uh, play what kind of shot you like to have. So, I mean, I have been playing this game for a long, long time, so you know, I, I don't really much aware of this. So, so uh, you know, uh, uh, I would like to uh, you know, ask Mohan uh, to do a quick demo on Unity uh, for you guys to know how easy it is to build to uh, uh, or build a game on a Windows platform actually. So Mohan, uh, we have a pre-developed package we have to like this year. These are the platforms. So, so here are the Windows uh, Windows Phone platform. So, just to go in with the uh, PC based, so that we know how easy it is to take, uh, take our games from uh, uh, one platform to Windows Phone 8 platform. So, I'm just starting a fresh project. See, for example, this is a desktop project. So, as uh, Ujjal said, uh, we have the ready made stuff uh, which built uh, just now uh, half an hour back, or maybe before that. I just import that stuff here. the obstacles that comes in forward. So as of now, just a demo project, just, uh, just ignore about pollution and other stuff. See, there's a PC build. Okay. So, uh, I just let you know how easy it is to port it to other platform using Unity. Before he uh, ports it to a different platform, I will show you, I'm, I'm having a countdown here to show you
show you how fast it is supported to Windows Phone 8. And uh, he's going to build it, and I'm starting it right now. I started it. process is just happening. Uh, we, this particular project has uh, is will work on iPhone, uh, Android, PC. It's built in such a format that it can work on any platform. Okay, it's on this So for uh, saving the time, in fact, uh, we already loaded. I'll just connect to my phone at the same time. I'll claim put it to same solution. Uh, you know, we have created this to save the same time. This and we are uh, go ahead and what's the name? Uh, uh, NGDC. NGDC, right? Yeah, so we have this in handy, ready? Okay, it's a game. And uh, it's pretty much ready. So it's accelerometer based, you know, uh, pretty much working. So you have to save, uh, actually hit it, right? No, you have to dodge. Just forget about position, it's just done. Uh, uh, it's not one long time of a piece, and then uh, with one click, you have to work for me. So it's, 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 it's like really, really fast and simple. You have to take care of a couple of things. For example, we converted this from debug build to master build, right? Yeah. There, there are a couple of other things which you have to take care of. Like when you're porting a game for Windows 8, uh, we have some, some scenarios which we'll like talk about. So, for example, uh, on the right side of Charms Bar, on this, uh, you know, uh, we have to have certain kind of settings which is a must to have. For example, your privacy policy is a very important thing which you need to have uh, you know, uh, on any Windows 8 games. Or you need to take care of your uh, screen size. For example, you, you are playing a game in a mode uh, like a full screen mode or a uh, you know snap view. So if you want to make your gameplay available on snap view, you have to take care of that. Like it's a small like this kind of view. Let me just show that. If, for example, I want to snap this in between. Um, make it, yeah, like this. So if I want to have my gameplay running in this kind of mode. I have to make sure that my UI is supported that time. But if it is not supported, I need to pass on a specific message. So in Unity, we actually have that by passing on a script in the Unity project and then by porting to Windows 8, we write a very, very basic function to handle that in Windows 8 uh, C sharp code or you know, we can generate C sharp code and with the new version we can actually do JavaScript as well. So 4.3 has been released like last two days back, I think. We can also do JavaScript over there. So, so that's, that's a great tool again available. I, I, I believe that you have a great experience, right? In terms of downloads, let me mention, so these guys are actually from Jet Studios, right? And let me uh, you know ask you a quick question. So, for example, how, how many downloads? When was this release? Or what did you Last July, end of July, end of July. Yeah, end of July. Right, and, and how many downloads have you seen so far? So, as of now, uh, 3 lakhs download happened in Windows Phone 8. Three lakhs. So, so it's less than like about three three months kind of time frame. We have three lakh download on, on Windows platform, right? And how many downloads do we see daily? Uh, daily, you know, uh, an average uh, maybe uh, five hundred, five thousand downloads is happening. Five thousand. Five thousand downloads. Right? Right? Almost cross rate of hundred dollars per day. So, 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 so that's I mean that's the folks here, right? I mean if you look at the average platform, see. We have definitely good number of views over there, but in terms of download, right, uh, and, and the operating system which is being used across, we see uh, sometimes, you know, on day to day basis that the download is actually more on the platform, right? On the platform. That's great. Thanks, thank you guys, you know, thanks for being here. Uh, you know, uh, definitely like to continue. So, again, uh, thanks for multimedia. Great uh, applause for them. Uh, thank you. So I, before concluding the talk, I also wanted to quickly mention about HTML5. I didn't mention about HTML5, but I'm sure like there are people who are building it, uh, that side you know, uh, of technology as well. So we have a very nicely done uh, project 
which I'll quickly run through, and then you know I, I'll share the link with you guys that we can dig deeper into it. So this is a very nice project uh, called Jati Bol, which you know, I want to show you quickly here, and then uh, it's available on Channel Nine, and you can look at how we can port a uh, web-based game. So this is a very nicely uh, small game, you know, where we have a Jati on top of it. There's a bowl uh, which, which he handles, and there's some robot which is coming. So I hit this uh, bowl, and then I can use this left and right control to, uh, you know, um, change the direction of the bowl and hit this robot so that they're not reaching my uh, flag on the top. And, and by this, I'm also getting a point of, uh, you know, which I'm calculating here. So how many robots I've killed so far? You know. Uh, so that's the game. Very simple game. HTML, with CSS, and a little bit of JavaScript. Now to port this game, you know, I'm definitely running short of time, so I'm not be able to, you know, I'm not going to convert it right, right away. But uh, you know, with very minimal code change, uh, the code is already converted. I'll share this. With very minimal code change, we are able to port this very, very quickly onto Windows Phone. And good news is, HTML5 and JavaScript is actually native on Windows 8 platform. So you don't even have to do anything else. You know, just let it port. But for phone, we have to tweak a little bit. But that's very much easy uh, to do so and handle. So with this, you know, I'll uh, conclude my talk. Uh, there are a couple of uh, giveaways actually. So can somebody raise hand and uh, request to have raise hand in between? Uh, how many uh, technology? What technology uh, do you remember? Or platform do you remember to build Windows Phone or Windows 8 games? Can I have raise a hand? So how many technology do you remember? Yeah. Latex, okay. Uh, let, let, let the person who has raised the hand answer. So I'll be able to give the t-shirts, otherwise it's all going to remain happening. Sorry? Yeah? Let, let, let him answer. Sorry? Paratex? Zamal? C++, C Sharp? Okay. And what are the other technologies like non-Microsoft non technology? HTML, JavaScript is uh, of course I mean, standard across then we have, uh, okay, let, let, it, let the gentleman have a t-shirt actually. We are running short of time. Uh, in fact, uh, I have one more quick question. So in terms of uh, porting or pushing the game to the Windows uh, store, how many accounts do you need to create? Oh, okay, okay, that was too easy. <laughs> that was too easy. All right, uh, you know, uh, I am running short of time, in fact. So, you know, uh, let, let me do this. In fact, uh, you know, I'll take this up to the store, uh, maybe uh, to, to the stall over there. Uh, you guys can come and collect over there. That can be easier. So, let me just uh, show this game which I was talking about, right? Try again. So, this is the basic game which you, which you ported easily. The same Windows 8, uh, Windows 4 environment, right? It's a simple Yati over there, and, and uh, I can hit the board and then change the direction and hit these robots easily. Right, so that's, that's, that's a part of uh, you know, the platform and the technology which you have to build apps in. If you have any questions, uh, I think we are running short of time. I can take one question, yes. Sorry? Why? Uh, let I am using Unity. Uh, how do you call native calls, like buttons, all native things? Okay, great. Good question. So, so what we need to do is write script in the Unity side of the code and then handle that through a uh, function in, in C Sharp uh, which you generate uh, on Windows side. So you need to have a uh, script over there in Unity, right? And then uh, you need to have a function when you generate, first, and then you generate the code, right? Uh, for targeting platform, like Windows Phone or Windows 8. And then you have to have a function on Windows side when you're generating, like you generate a C Soft solution, right? The team just generate a solution. So in that solution, you can add classes or uh, functions and then do that you can handle that. So it's pretty much available. So Unity actually is... I mean, any my DLL or directly? No need to work with the DLL or direct. I mean, that is taken care by the Unity and so how Unity works with DirectX is no need to worry about for developers. That's we will take care of or Unity team will take care of, right? So as a developer, you just have to take care of the uh, scripting side and the, uh, you know, the uh, function side of, of the game. Yeah. So, uh, you know, a couple of more announcements. So, Hubrix, another game which has been nominated, I think we have that, uh, another partner with whom we have worked uh, closely uh, is Yellow Monkeys, also nominated for uh, the award. So, I, I don't want you guys to uh, stay here, but definitely connect with us uh, at Max of Wood. I'd love to work with you guys. Yeah, thank you.